Hello students, this is Mr. Becca with the Reach for the Stars program at Longfellow Elementary. Today for my next video, I will be showing you guys how to make a paper airplane with the ability to slingshot it, as well as a target board. So, let's get started with reading today's objective. Objective. Students will learn how to make a fun new game that includes making a paper airplane and a target board. Okay. Let's get started. So to start off with our paper airplane, we're going to need a regular piece of letter paper. Okay? So the first thing you want to do with this is fold it in half, all right, and make a crease. So it should look like this, all right? Then with one corner, you're going to match it alongside the center crease. Let me do that down here. So it looks like this. And do that with the other side as well. So just bring it down and fold it along the center. So now it should look something like this. Okay? Then we are going to fold this down. We're going to fold this down and leave about an inch from the bottom. So make sure it's folded straight down to where the corner of this meets right in the middle. And we're going to fold it down about an inch from the bottom. Okay? So it looks something like this. Then we're going to do some, the same thing with this corner. I'm going to bring it down to the center. So it should look like this. So look like this. Bring this corner down to the center line. Then we're going to do the same thing with this corner down to the middle. So now your paper should look like this, okay? Now to continue with this paper airplane, you're also going to need a few other items. You're going to need some tape, a rubber band, and a paper clip, okay? So at this point, what you're going to do is you're gonna fold it in half like this, and you're gonna get this. So I'm gonna try it like this, right? This line right here, match it up with the center line right here. So it should fold like this. Okay, get this line, fold it to the center. So it should look like this. Then we're going to do the same thing and fold it inwards to the center line. Okay? So this is how it should look now. So then, if you lift the wings up, it should look like this. Right? So now you have your paper airplane. But this is where the paper clip comes in. So you're going to get your large paper clip and you're going to bend it first straight one way so then now it looks like this and then you're going to unravel it one more time. Okay? So then it should look like this. So try to make sure the best you can to make it as straight as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect but the straighter the better. Okay? So then it should look like this. We're going to make sure the loop is facing down and right at the middle of your paper airplane. You're going to place it right in the middle so it should look something like this. Okay? So you're going to tape the paper, the paper clip right down to the center. So if you need to ask help from an adult, get a little piece of tape. Maybe they can help you do this part. 
So just tape the paper clip down along the center. So it should be like this, right? Then your paper airplane should look like this. So now just to make it a little bit more secure, if you like, you can then tape this end and the middle as well. So I'm gonna do that just to make sure it's a little bit more secure. So you can tape the end right here so then the flap isn't open. And then you can tape one more time on the top. There you go. So now it's not coming apart. So now it's one continuous thing. And you have your paper, your paper clip right at the end. So this is where your rubber band comes into play. You put the rubber band, you loop it in, and then you can point it like this and shoot it. All right? So now we are going to make our target board. Now how I did this was just with a simple cereal box. So I just took any cereal box that I had and um, an empty cereal box. I cut off the top and the bottom. Very simple, just cut off the tabs. Um, and then I got one piece of paper and I made two boxes. I made a larger box in the bottom and labeled it five points and a smaller box on the top and labeled it 10. So what I did after this was I got another piece of paper. I put it together like this. And then you can ask an adult to help you if you have a little trouble with this. What you want to do from here with both the pieces of paper together is cut out the inside of the box. Cut out the inside of the box. Okay? And then what I did was I glued or taped my sketchings to my cereal box. So I taped it to my cereal box and then I did it one more time. Again, you can ask an adult to help you with this one because this one is a little thicker so it might be a little bit more difficult. You cut out the inside of the box on both sides. So then you get this and now it can actually stand up straight. So you can put this anywhere you like and you have your 10 points, your 5 points and then now you have your paper airplane. You can put it anywhere you like. You can try to shoot it and try to make it into the into the center of the box. See how many how much points you can make out of that. So make it a game. You can play with a brother or a sister or your mom or your dad or whoever you have in your house. And I hope you enjoy it. Okay, see you next time. Bye.